2130, day 547. Unscheduled course correction due at 2200. Pre-correction check. Rotation axis plus three degrees. Nitrous oxide pressure, 4100, rising to 5000. Quad jet C and D on pre-select. Rotor ignition sequence beginning in three zero. Thrust align reactors on standby. Vincent, notify me with 15 to go. Alex? Yes, sir. Have you determined a difference in ETAs with and without our correction? Working on it. You know, we shouldn't be needing a correction at this time. Vincent, run a confirmation on the last inertial fix and check it with another celestial, please. I have. It is correct. But I think I found the reason for our present variation. Mr. Pizer? Yes, Vincent? Mr. Pizer, I think you should come up here. What's up, Vincent? The largest black hole I have ever encountered, Mr. Pizer. Hmm, let's have a look at it on the holograph. Inferno. Yes. The most destructive force in the universe, Harry. Nothing can escape it, not even light. I had a professor who predicted that eventually black holes would devour the entire universe. Why not? When you can see giant suns sucked in and disappear without a trace? Give us some magnification, Vincent. Polarizing image. Every time I see one of those things, I expect to spot some guy in red with horns and a pitchfork. It's a monster, all right. A rip in the very fabric of space and time. But I picked up something else of interest. Let's see it. It hasn't moved since I first picked it up. It seems to be some kind of ship. Do you copy, Alex? Roger, Dan. Enlarge again, Vincent, and let's try to identify it. But how could anybody be out here ahead of us? Octarius 10, United Kingdom. Liberty 7, United States. Russian Experimental Space Station Series 5. France, Sahara Module 53. Pluto 4, Japan. United States, Space Probe 1. That's it. USS Cygnus. Dr. Kate, wasn't that the ship your father was on? USS Cygnus. Its mission to discover habitable life in outer space. Same as ours. Signal that ship, Vincent. <laughs> Activate the sensors, Charlie. You bet. They were recalled to Earth 20 years ago. Their mission considered a failure. How that must have galled Dr. Hans Reinhardt. Did you ever meet Commander Reinhardt? Hmm. Collided with him would be a more accurate description. A legend. So he believed. Reinhardt had the knack of making his own ambition seem like a matter of national pride. Why, he talked the Space Appropriations Committee into the costliest fiasco of all time and refused to admit failure. Ignored his recall. Maybe not. Maybe it never got through. That ship just, just disappeared. They've never been seen again. Dan, get us in close enough. Vincent and I could get aboard on tethers. To quote Cicero, rashness is the characteristic of youth, prudence that of mellowed age, and discretion the better part of valor. No sense leaving the story of a lifetime untold, Captain. I believe there is, Harry. And it's looking straight at us. Picking up anything on the sensors, Charlie? Negative. But with all that turbulence out there, our signal might not be getting through. According to my instruments, it hasn't moved a centimeter since we first spotted it. But, Alex, how can a lifeless derelict defy that kind of gravity? I don't know, but it's certainly worth investigating. My instincts are against it, Alex. But we'll go in for a closer look. Fix a coordinate approach, Charlie. Full power on the thrusters, Vincent. Strap yourselves in. We'll be feeling the gravitational force right now. Rain, 
Dodge 29551 at closing. What's your reading on Cygnus, Vincent? Triangulation shows it's still holding steady, sir. Gravity pull. 